kind of eerie. You know, just three lights hovering in the sky, very prominent. You know, they weren't just specks off in the distance. Bright red UFO images captured in the skies over El Cajon. But these lights may not be a mystery at all. In fact, there could be a very good explanation. Good evening and thanks for joining us tonight. Strange, colorful lights shine brightly from outer space. At about the same time, a NASA satellite crashes into the ocean after liftoff. Sheer coincidence? Perhaps not. A satellite launch from Vandenberg Air Force Base went terribly wrong just before 2 this morning. The rocket apparently didn't have enough thrust to make it into orbit. But did that mishap in space have anything to do with bright red lights in the sky captured on camera? News 8's Doug Holk is live with a possible explanation. Doug? Well, guys, it sounds like a logical explanation, only there's a time discrepancy. According to NASA, that failed launch happened around 2 a.m., and the people we spoke with who saw these three red objects in the sky say that happened around 1.20. We've just seen uh, three lights. I was wondering if you guys got anything of uh, a pretty good object flying over here. Even in this 911 call, witnesses had a tough time explaining what they saw. I'm sorry, you saw what? Throughout the East County, it was seen for miles. It was kind of eerie, you know, just three lights hovering in the sky, very prominent. You know, they weren't just specks off in the distance. Here are the pictures Mark Urick took from his Rancho San Diego home. This is probably the best one. It was around 1.30 in the morning when he got a call from his buddy, Jeff Mikolas. I was blown away. I had no idea what it was. That's why I called him. I said, oh, my God, oh, my God, oh, my God, over and over again. Not an airplane, not a helicopter. Um, can't be something military. <laughs> They weren't the only ones who witnessed this unidentified flying object. Tuesday morning, our News 8 server was flooded with emails and pictures from viewers, all vividly describing the same thing. It's probably not aliens, but I really hope it is. And liftoff of the Taurus rocket with OCO. One possible explanation is the failed launch of a NASA satellite from Vandenberg Air Force Base here in California. Vehicle velocity is approximately 5,000 miles per hour at an altitude of approximately 50 miles. It crashed in the Antarctic. Only its launch occurred around 2 a.m. We have declared a launch contingency. And most witnesses reported seeing this UFO around 1.30. I don't see how that would explain it exactly. There are a lot of hoaxes around San Diego. Mel Podell has been studying UFOs ever since he was 14. It's possible it's a sophisticated hoax because they're getting better and better around here. He's currently the sectional director for the Mutual UFO Network. Well, the fact that it's slow moving leads me to believe that, it's, that it might be one of these balloons. Then again, there's always other possibilities. Now, if it is, in fact, a balloon hoax, Podell says it's happened many times in San Diego before, with the last time occurring New Year's Eve, and they, his group, caught the man responsible. And we usually find out about these things fairly close to after it happened. I guess right now we're just waiting for somebody to step forth with an explanation, or maybe there won't be one. That's the thing. You leave it open, or maybe there won't be one. You never know. Thanks, Doug. Thanks.